H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Okay. So we are going to learn about uh, joints in SQL Server. So joints are primarily used to, to retrieve the data from one or more tables. So imagine you want to you want to get the data from more than one table. You write join between the two tables and you'll retrieve the data. So we are going to see how to do that, and also we are going to see uh, what what are stored procedures and how do we use stored procedures. Okay, just a second. Okay, so let me open SQL Server. And before that, uh, before that, I got. The answers from some of you for the second highest salary. I'm still waiting for the response from others. So, so let me let me uh, tell the query. Let me tell the query for all of you. <coughs> okay. So, how to get the highest salary? Anyone wants to unmute and tell me how to get the highest salary? For example, uh, let me show you. Um, let me show you uh, this table. Okay. So select star from employee. I'm going to show it shift from F5. So I'm going to connect to SQL Server and uh, I want to use the database. See now, by default, it's showing invalid object employee because the database which I have selected is master database. So I want to select my database which I want. So I'm going to select uh, .NET Batch one, which is which I have created uh, in the previous class, and you be, I'll, I will be using this for our course. So now I'm clicking on select star from employee. Now I want one of you to unmute yourself and tell me how to get the highest salary. First highest salary. Yeah, yeah, we go ahead. Uh, select the top one star from employee where uh, not where the salary uh, order by salary in descending. So let's verify. So Ravi is telling that select top one star from employee order by salary descending. Let me execute this. Yeah, you're right. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Ravi. Okay, so this is how uh, we can get the highest salary. Or if you don't want to, or if you don't want to get the name and other details, if you just want to know what is the highest salary, uh, so we can use max. For example, I just want to know what is the highest salary. I don't want to know who is getting highest salary. So in that case, I can write here select max of salary from employee so in this case i'll be getting what is the maximum salary so let me execute this so 32500 is a maximum salary now if i want to get the person who is getting second highest salary what i can do is see here i'm going to do this if you're not getting please ask me i'll explain that again so select top one star from employee where salary less than Select max of salary from employee. So I wrote this query. So select top one star from employee where salary where salary less than select max salary from employee. So let me execute this. So before that, let's run this and see who is getting second highest salary. So order by order by salary descending. So let's execute this and we can notice that the second highest salary is getting by Shankar. So now, now let me let me do this. Let me execute this query and say, let's see whether we are getting Shankar or not. So we are getting here Amar. So the, the something what is wrong here is I want to do it order by salary descending. So what I need to do here is order by salary descending. So now let's try to execute this. 
So I'm getting Shankar here. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm just selecting. Uh, anyone got this? Understood this query? For getting the second highest salary. Okay, so I'm getting uh, not understood from others. So who understood this query for getting second highest salary? So this is the query to get second highest salary. Please ping me in the chat window if you understood this query. I got only one message saying like it is understood. So any others who got who understood this query? I am taking top one star from employee where salary less than salary less than max salary. So who wants to explain this other than Ravi? So uh, I want either uh, Priyanka or Mona to explain this. They said like they understood this. They can unmute yourself and you can explain one of you. Hello? Uh, Mona or Priyanka, can you go ahead? Uh, can you unmute? Yeah, Mona, go ahead, please. Yeah, here yeah, it is selecting uh, max, max other than max salary. Second, I guess, in max salary. Uh, sorry, I can't explain. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, so. Um, I can explain. Yeah, go ahead. I, yeah, go ahead. Please. Yeah. Uh, here, the select top one from employee is the, it will give the topmost uh, higher salary. And uh, it should be uh, the uh, second highest will be less than that. So the salary is less than the maximum salary. Correct, correct. And why do I need this? Why do I need this? Because uh, we have to uh, take a descending order so that highest will be at the top. Perfect. Yeah. So thank you very much, uh, Mauna and Priyanka. Yeah, that's correct. So so what I'm trying to do here is. I am trying to, so let's remove this, for example, let's remove this. So if I copy this query, so what is the maximum salary? Uh, so if I execute this query, for example, if I execute this query, I am getting 3 to 500, so which is maximum salary. So let me put this query this way, in the other way. So I will copy this, I will paste it here, and then I will Instead of this this query, I am going to put here 32,500, because that's same actually. So let me remove this, let me remove this and put here 32,500. Okay, so now uh, this is, this this query is same like writing this query. So select top one star from employee where salary less than 32,500 ordered by salary descendant. So now what will happen is, it will not take the maximum salary, it will take the immediate uh, next maximum salary and since I have mentioned the top one, so that will return me the person who is getting second highest salary. So, so this is how we write the query to get the second highest salary. So, so please keep in mind, I attended many interviews. This is a definite question. So I'm leaving, I'm leaving it to you for third highest salary or fourth highest salary. So I'm not going to explain uh, this. So you can write another sub query for this, but still there are different ways to do that. So for example, if, if, if I was being asked to put the third highest salary, with the subqueries, there are a lot of ways to do this, but this way, uh, this way, for example, so again, I write the same thing. So instead of this top one, what I'll do here is select max salary. Okay, and then I'll copy this. And then, and then instead of this one, I will put like this. I'm not going to explain this, otherwise it will be confusing. Let me ex let me execute this. Okay, so here, order by is not required. Anyway, it's a maximum salary. Let me execute this. I'm getting Ravi who is getting 28,000. Is it the correct person who is getting third highest salary? Let me execute this. So let me execute this salary descending and I'm getting Ravi who is getting third highest salary and this query is returning me the third highest salary. So anyway, I'm not going to explain this. Uh, for some of it might be confusing, but still it's very easy if you practice it. So, so this is how we normally get third highest salary, but there are different ways to do this. So please uh, research on this and find the best solution. But for second highest salary, you can tell this. 
Okay. So now with this, let's move ahead for joints in SQL Server. Okay. So now let's go to uh, let me open Excel sheet. Now, how many of you is it clear uh, on getting the second highest salary? So how about Babita Babesh or Babik? How about uh, second highest salary? Anyone wants me to explain again? Okay. How about Sarika, Seema, Sandhya and uh, is it clear now uh, to get the second highest salary? Okay. So feel free to ask me. Uh, I, I'm fine to explain even five, six times. That should be fine. So, okay. Now let's try to understand uh, joins. Okay. So now the reason, so why we, let me show you this. Okay. So I have a table called customer. I have a table called customer. And I have, okay, I have a document for joins. Let me open that. So is the display is coming later, later than my voice or is it, is it in sync? Some of, uh, one person is telling like the display is coming before voice. Yeah, I think for for those whom it's clear, it's not clear. I think it's problem with your internet speed. So all of you, all of I'm getting messages from everyone saying it's clear. Okay. Just a second. Okay, so let me open this uh, joints. Okay, so we are going to learn how to write joints between the tables. So, so let me let me tell this. So, so I am going to use two tables. One is employee table, and I am also going to use another table called address table. So, for now, I don't have any primary keys. I don't have any identity columns. I don't have anything for this. Not all constraints or whatever. So I have two tables, one is employee table, I have another table which is address table. So let's copy this and create this. So to create this table, I want to delete the table which I already have. So let me delete the table. So how to drop the table? So drop table, employee. So let me drop the table. Okay. Now let me delete it. Let me go back here and let me copy this. So I'm going to create this table. And let me create this table. And I'm going to create another table, which is address. Let me copy this. And here, I'm going to create this. Let me execute this. OK. So I created the table employee, and I created the table address. So I have, I have now two tables. One is employee and the address. So let me add some data for the tables. So, so I'm going to add this data for these two tables. So, so let me, let me click on new query and let me add these two insert scripts. So in address, in employee table, I'm going to add four rows. In, in address table, I'm going to add three rows. Now, let me, to select star from employee. Select star from address. So let me execute this. See, uh, table is coming in black color, employee table is coming in black color, but whereas address is coming in blue color because this looks like this is a keyword for SQL Server. So always avoid using keywords. Uh, address is keyword in SQL Server. So anyway, that should be fine for now. So let me execute this. So I have two tables, one is employee and the address. Now what is my requirement is, I want to print like this. I want to print the details like this. So employee, okay, just for a change, what I'll do is I'll change the city names. I have all the same city here, same state here. 
So let me change the city and state so that um, it will be clear for us. So for this, let's have city Hyderabad. And then let's have Andhra Pradesh. Now it is uh, Telangana. And let's have here Bhopal. And if I'm not wrong, this is Madhya Pradesh. Let's have I don't care, I mean spelling might not be correct. Okay, so let me execute this. Okay, so if I see this, select star from employee and address, so I have, okay, so now I have uh, I have three cities and three states. Now what I need from this is if I want any information from one table, I can easily get it using where condition or using column names. But the problem here is I want to get the data from two tables. So I want data like this. I want employee first name, I want last name and city state. I want the details like this. I want first name, last name, and which city he belongs to, which state he belongs to. For example, if I take first, if I take Ravi, who is employee ID one, so who belongs to Hyderabad and state Telangana. So, so I want these details. For example, if I take four, Ahmedabad is not yet filled the details of address. So we don't see this uh, Ahmedabad details here. We don't have this in address table. The reason could be he is yet to fill the address details. Okay. So now I want to I want to print these details for sure I have to write a join. So now if you want to write a join, you will have a common column between the two tables. And what is the common column which I have between the two tables? I have a common column which is employee ID. So based on employee ID, I can tell whether whether who belongs to which city, who belongs to which state. So now I want to write a join. So let me write a join. So, so please focus here, uh, very important. So first I need to write what are the columns I need. So select, what are the columns I need? I need F name, I need L name, I need city, I need state. From, which table I need first? Employee. And then I need to write here, I can give some alias name here for this table. I can give EMP, join. I want to join this with which table? I want to join this with address table. On, what is the condition here? EMP dot, EMP dot, EMP employee ID is equal to A dot employee ID. Okay, so very simple. I just wrote select what are the columns I need and then from employee I gave some alias name. When you are giving alias name you can use this here. So you can give here like this and I can write here this belongs to address. This belongs to address. So I wrote like this select emp dot f name because this f name belongs to employee table. EMP dot last name because the L name belongs to employee table. A dot city and the A dot state because these two belongs to address table. Why do we need to write this is sometimes you might need to print a column which is there in both the tables. For example, I want to print even employee ID. So now if I put here employee ID when you execute this query this will get confused. This will get confused which employee ID you want to print. Whether you want to print employee's employee ID or address employee ID. So for that reason, you need to put employee dot. So now that we understood like, okay, you want to print employee dot employee ID. Employee tables employee ID. And for that reason, we use alias names. So we do, we simply wrote this select query, all the columns, and then we wrote from employee table, join. 
So you are joining employee table with each table, address table. On what is the condition? Employee ID equal to this employee ID. That's all. Write the write the columns you need from the table. Join which table you want to join. On very simple and straightforward. Let me execute this. See now I am saying this. Ravi belongs to Hyderabad, Telangana, and Bharat belongs to Bhopal. Sharad belongs to Kolkata. Okay. So even in this case, I got a question saying like, what if I put a dot employee ID? That's well and good. In this case, both are same. So even if you put a dot employee ID, that's fine. I'm getting. I'll get the same result because because you have written the condition here when both are same. Okay, so any doubts here uh, in this query? So it's very straightforward and very simple. So select a dot employee ID, whatever columns you need, table, join, or you can put inner join. Both are same. Inner join is same as writing simple join. Both are same. So if somebody asks you what is the difference between inner join and writing a join, so both are same. Okay, so this is about inner join. Okay, so now we have some other types of joins. So for example, if if someone sees this report, if if the top management or the leadership sees this report, what do they feel? So they feel like they have companies having only three employees. But actually, how many employees we have now in the company? No, this is the new table. Um, I just created some time back. Yeah, this is so we have four records, but but why do you think we are not getting the fourth record, uh, Amar? For example, if I execute this, why do you guys think that I am not getting this fourth record here in the result in the join? So if I execute this again, so in the first table. So, so here in the first table I have four records, in the second table I have three rows. But in the join, in the join I'm only seeing three records because, because why we are not getting fourth record is we don't have employee ID four in address table. So this join condition, this join condition will only point those who are having. Now I have a question here. What if we send this report for the leadership? So assume that leadership has asked this report and if we send this report for the leadership they will think that only we have three three employees in the company so they they want a report which states like if the if the person has not entered uh, address put this as blank and show me all the employees so in that case we need to go for outer joints okay so now let's try to understand which joins we need to use okay so now let's try to use auto joins so now in this case I want to print all the records from which table you want to print all the records irrespective of the condition from which table you want to print all the records now either from employee table or you want to print from address table which table you want to print all the records from employee table you want to print all the records from employee table and for the non-matching records uh, for example Amarnath is not there in address so for that put blank so in that case we need to put so for if I write like this outer join for this outer join for this outer join which is left table which is present in the left side of this outer join which table is present in the left side of the join all of you yeah all of you I am not seeing from response ok see here um, ok let me put this way this is a join so I mean I am asking which is this is right side and this is left side so for this join employee table is present in the left side address is present in the right side now what I want to print is irrespective of whether the person has entered address or not I want to print all the details so in that case I want to print all the details from employee table 
So now what I need to do is I need to add here left outer join. When I write a left outer join, I'll print all the details from employee table. And if I don't find matching records in address table, I'll put null values. So let me execute this, you'll understand better. See now, let me put here e dot employee address. Let me execute this. See now, now I'm printing all the employees. Amarnath also is printed, but city and state is coming null for Amarnath. So, so when I write a left outer join, irrespective of whether the condition is satisfied or not, if you don't have records in the right table, it will show as null, but it will print all the records from left table. Now if the management or leadership sees this report, they will understand that, okay, there are four employees in the company and Amar has not yet filled his city or state. This shows better, right? So when compared to the previous report. So inner join, what we understood from this is inner join will print only those records which are matching. Inner join will strictly print those uh, records which are matching in both the tables. And left outer join will print all the records in left table irrespective of whether the matching record is present in the right table or not. If the matching record is not there in the right table, it will print null there. So is it clear enough? Left outer table, left outer join? All of you? This is very important. Please let me know if it's not clear. Now, can you guys guess what will be the output if I put right, right outer join? How many rows I will see in right outer join? How many rows I will see in right outer join? Okay, let me explain this. So, left outer join, we saw that Irrespective of the condition got satisfied or not, all the rows from the left table has been printed. Now, in right outer join, irrespective of whether the condition satisfied or not, all the rows from the right table will be printed. Right table is address. So how many records we have in right table? We have, we have three records in right table. So it will only print three records. Let me execute this. It is only printing three records. Now for a change, what I will do now is, I'm going to add one record in the right table. So let me add a record in the right table. Okay, now I entered uh, uh, employee ID 5 in address table. But that employee ID 5 is not there in employee table. So if you see this, I have employees 4 till 4 here and 5 here, but I don't have 5 in employee table. Now, now I have a question to all of you. If I put here left outer join, or if I put here inner join, how many records I will see? Yeah, you have to tell this properly. Think and tell me before replying. Please think twice before replying. Please think twice before replying. I am writing an inner join. So if I execute this, what will be the answer for inner join? Please think twice. So inner join will perfectly check for the matching conditions. So so let's try to understand. So employee ID 1, is there in both the tables? Yes. Employee 2, is there in both the tables? Yes. Employee ID 3, is there in both the tables? Yes. Employee ID 4, is there in both tables? No, we don't have. And how about employee 5? We don't have in both the tables. So it will only print 1, 2, 3. So inner join will check for perfect matching condition and it will print only for the matching records. So if I execute this, I will see only 3 records. Now question for all of you. How many records I will see in left outer join? If this is my tables, how many records I will see in left outer join? In left outer join, in left outer join, I will see all the records from left table. All the records from left table, irrespective of whether the condition satisfies or not. So I'll print, I'll see 1, 2, 3, 4. And, and for Amarnath, I will see blank. 
null in IOC null. So if I execute this left outer join, so you can see here in left outer join, I am seeing only four records. All the records in the left table employee are getting printed, and it's not it it doesn't care about employee five because left outer join will only care about left table. Now can you guys tell me what about right outer join? How many records I will see in right outer join? I am executing this. So in right right outer join, how many records I will see? Can you guys tell me what are the m? Uh, some of you are telling three, some of you are telling four, some of you are telling five as well. So right outer join will print all the records in the right table. So I have one, two, three, five. So one, two, three, five will be printed and and it will not print 4 because 4 is in this table but 4 is not here but 5 even though 5 is not present in employee table but still it will print because we are writing a right arrow join right table is address so it will print all the records from address table but it, will, it doesn't care about left table what you have or what you don't have so if I execute this right outer table will print all the employees see now so this is the fifth employee record but I am seeing null here because I need to write here a dot employee address see now if I execute this I am getting here 5 as well but for 5 I don't have first name and last name because I don't have for 5 I don't have the records in left table is it making sense or is it confusing I see it is confusing because uh, I am seeing mixed responses from how many of you is confusing? Okay. Yeah, it is a little bit confusing. Yeah, I will make it clear now for you guys. Okay. So don't worry, this is this is the most easiest topic which we have in SQL Server. Writing joins is pretty easy. All All you need to do is, I repeat again when you are writing an inner join okay when you are writing an inner join so if i do select star from these tables inner join will only print for those records which are matching between both the tables so i am writing inner join for employee id so it will check for the employee ids which are present in both the tables that records only it will print when you are writing inner join inner join is a perfect matching condition which will check exactly the records which are matching now so one i have in both the tables two i have in both the tables three i have in both the tables so i don't have four in the right table i don't have five in the left table so inner join will only print one two three so if i execute this it will only print one two three that is about inner join when you write a left outer join it will print all the records in the left table and if you don't have matching employee ID in the right table please focus here I'm telling about left outer join left outer join will print all the records in the left table and if you don't have matching employee ID in the right table it will print null for that columns ideally your left outer join the number of rows will be equal to your number of rows in the left table see now if I execute this I will see all the records let me put here EMP so because my left table is employee so let me put here employee so if I execute this I will see here employee 4 which is there in the left table since I don't have matching city and state for employee 4 it is showing null when I put here right outer join right outer join will print all the records in the right table all the records in the right table if you don't have any matching employee ID in the left table it will have null for that columns so here let me execute this see now 5 I don't have first name last name because I don't have for 5 I don't have in records in employee table now how many of you it is clear
okay so now let me add let me do something let me modify here Okay, let me show the tables for you. Please make a note here. I have, please make a note of this here. Now, can you guys tell me how many records I will have in inner join? I should not see any mistake, any wrong answer. Please think before twice before replying. So, this is table employee and this is table address. So, when I write an inner join, how many records I will see here? Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing all, uh, I'm seeing the proper response from most of you. So, inner join will check for the perfect matching conditions. So, I, all of you are, most of you are 99% all of you are correct. So, the answer here is three records. Because inner join will check for the IDs which are there in both the tables. So, one is there, two is there, three is there, and four and six are there here but not here. 5 is here but not here. So, so the answer here is 3 records. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now, okay. Now, now, how many records? H2K emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.